welcome or welcome back to my film and TV channel. We're going for a, a Netflix series today and it's a supernatural detective thrill. Yes, I've been compared, uh, some people compare it to Wednesday. Yeah, there are, yeah, I mean, as in there are sort of links to that sort of style, but you're sort of like a... A, a Ghostbuster stroke, Wednesday stroke, um, not Stranger Things, all different things melded into this. But basically, it's a supernatural detective thrill. It's ghost busting, ghost busting by a, an organisation or organisations. This is all based in the UK as well, so it's uh, obviously very. What's the word? I'm not going to say averagely acted because a lot of UK stuff uh, is okay, but uh, some of the UK stuff is a little bit weak on the acting. So we're going to have a look at something called Lockwood and Company today. Please, if you are new to this channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notification. It's great to have you on board. I do everything film and TV, of course, reviews, information, vlogs, the odd quiz thrown in. So if you are pushing buttons, or if you've already pushed that button, push that little like button as well. I'm trying to get between 10 and 15 likes. It's not many, but it would make me very happy if you can do that for me. Just before you watch the rest of this, just press that little thumbs up button. Uh, yeah, make it old, old, old. As I say, a lot of this, oh, I will say old, because obviously a lot, but don't forget, I've seen a lot. I've had a lot of waters gone under the bridge in my film watching TV series watching life you know going going back to quirky supernatural detective thrillers you could probably call the the original Avengers that stuff like this is the stuff I grew up on so something like this has to be something pretty spectacular to to make a, a big impact on me so please please be aware of that when you're watching this if you're a lot younger than me you may get a little bit more out of these sort of things but I've seen a lot uh I'm a, yes I'm, i know it's hard i know it's i know it's hard to believe but i'm quite old and i've seen a lot of stuff this is based on jonathan stroud so it's like a, a young younger reading isn't it uh, it's book series of the same name interestingly enough the title screaming staircase from the whispering school it reminded me of books i used to read as a kid the alfred hitchcock mysteries and they always have the screaming the screaming skull and all this it used to have names like that and it did remind me of that and uh, uh, yeah, I think they did serialise that as well back in, back in the day. So, yeah, uh, you might remember that. Alfred Hitchcock didn't write them. He was just linked with them to make it sell a little bit more. But it was about some young adventurers, of course. So got mixed in with all sorts of things. So a bit, a bit like a Scooby-Doo of your characters, if you like, or, a Mag or the uh, Eni Blight and Magnificent Seven or Famous Seven, Famous Five, whatever they were called. Anyway, let's get back to this. I'm sorry, I'm waffling. Consisting of eight episodes, it premiered on the 27th of January 2023, and I watched it over um, a couple of afternoons and an evening, so I didn't get to watch it all in one go. Rotten Tomatoes, they like it. 97% the public, 97% positivity. Internet Movie Database, they like it. 7.7 .7 out of 10 of almost 2,600 scores left. 91% positivity. And about, what's it about? Well, I told you about ghost busting, etc. It's London, the most talented teenage ghost hunters journey nightly into dangerous combat with deadly spirits. Yes, there's different groups competing against each other to get contracts to bust ghosts and stuff like that, really which is an interesting way of doing it. Among the many adult staff corporate agencies, one small startup is alone, Lockwood and Company, operated by two teenage boys and a physically gifted girl who joins them. And the renegade trio, free of financial motives, adult supervision and destined to travel a mystery that will change, destined to unravel a mystery that will change history's course. There you go. So it's a, there's a couple of, there's like little subplots as well in this, but there's a, a general thing that it's all working towards. It stars Ruby Stokes, Cameron Chapman, Ali Hadji, Heshmati, Michael Clark, Ivan Jeremiah, Luke Treadaway, Morven Christie, Jack Bandera, Ben Crompton, Hayley Canudu, Rihanna Doris, Paddy Holland, Rick, Rico Vina, Luis Brele and Nigel playing as he even gets a, an appearance. Well, not too long, but he gets in it. So lots of familiar faces to me and some younger, unfamiliar ones as well. Rotten Tomatoes, the critics, 100% approval, but that's only based on seven critics who've looked at this at the moment. That's a score of eight out of ten. Metacritic, the other side, again, only six critics, but it's scoring 78 out of 100. Uh, Louise Griffin from the Radio Times gave it 60 and said, unfortunately, it's easier to see where the twists and turns are going to take us. Certainly is for old, get old, 
all died in the wool guys like me. And what could have been a huge plot twist to set up the final episode can be seen a mile away. Yes, again, Louise, Louise you're quite right. But it's Cornish's ability to bring the most terrifying parts of Stroud's novels to life or to death that sets Lockwood and Company apart from Netflix's other fantasy offerings. Yes, there's a lot of comparisons with the book. Some people don't think they've done a good job. Some people think they have done a bad job. So they're pretty split on that. Jenna Shearer, Jenna Shearer, another critic, she wrote, she gave it 83 out of 100 and said, all in all, Lockwood is an appealing blend of noir-tinged detective tale horror and low-key teen drama with just the right amount of witty banter. Again, the humour, perhaps miss, I missed that, that a little bit. So, right, my little thoughts, as I said, I'm an old died in the old guy. I've seen lots and lots of things. I'm not going to go mad on this here. It was fine. It was okay. It was an okay to say. I wasn't on the edge of my seat one afternoon waiting to watch it again at the evening, stuff like that. So I'm going to give it a my watchable standard 6 out of 10. And it was a, a sluggish start, as you perhaps expect to this sort of thing. Although the sort of eeriness and the supernatural elements build for the, as the first proper case comes into fruition and becomes a little bit more interesting. And yes, it does, though, become a little bit formulaic. Uh, but at least at least it's, it's different. It's okay. It's, it's another version of something you know we've perhaps seen before but a slightly different slant where it does fall down for me is the length of time uh, it's not really enough story for eight episodes times 45 minutes and it does drag just a little bit it certainly did for me at times uh, even, even perhaps a young younger viewer might find that as well um, but perhaps a little bit more backstory on key characters certainly would have helped me because as such I didn't invest totally in the key characters uh, as I would have liked to have done you know when when, they're in, when someone's in danger you want to care about them uh, I wasn't that invested to actually do that also the acting wasn't top notch not a disaster but not great as you get with this sort of UK based acting talent if you like for me was I on the edge of my seat waiting for the next episode each time no I wasn't and it's possibly better watched with a gap uh, as a binge watch uh, some people I've read a couple of comments where they, binge, they loved it and they binge watched it but if you don't love it and you're just sort of liking it just 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 don't try and binge watch it because it does be get a little bit repetitive uh, at times so Maybe better watching one or two at a time or something like that rather than trying to binge watch it. Uh, no news on a second season. At this point, I, I won't, certainly won't lose any sleep about that. Wait for an announcement, of course, as you'd expect, the end of this series. A, a, a sort of smallish a smallish cliffhanger, so obviously people will be thinking, oh, yes, there will be a series too, but there's no announcement on that. So all I can say, summing up for this, it's okay. But as I said, that's from an old seen it all before guy who's seen all these sort of things, and it was it was okay. It was fine. I can't say any more than that, really. But uh, let me know what you think, guys. It'd be great to hear from you. To say you're probably a lot of young people watching this, and than me, I hope you are, and I hope you're enjoying what I try and give you, and I try and be honest with my opinion from from a, a 64 year old bloke uh, which is obviously uh, not what the demographic of this is particularly aimed at but uh, it was fine it was okay it, it, you know not not fantastic it was okay compared to wednesday i would say i probably enjoyed wednesday slightly more but uh, again not not raving over it but uh, if you had to compare the two uh, definitely thanks for watching guys please until we meet again that's one thing don't please stay safe everyone